a couple weeks ago, this blog post was not even ranking in the top 10 position on Google, and now it's ranking number one, and it's winning the featured snippet. And in today's video, I'll be showing you the little trick that I use to improve this blog post to get it to rank number one and win the featured snippet on Google. So let's go ahead and get started. And this is not an easy keyword in which anyone can rank for. It has a medium search difficulty. It has decent search volume and global search volume. And again, if we scroll down here, we are number one and we are winning the featured snippet and beating all of the other blog posts for this specific article. And as you can see, there's a big difference in our word count compared to our competitors. And our DR is actually less than our competitors. But again, we're still outranking them. So this article was created on January 27, 2025, and then we modified it in April 8th. So what I did was I essentially took this article and I improved it, I added more content, I added more internal links, I added interactive images, and I added an HTML element. There's an interactive HTML element embedded within the article, and it looks really, really good. It's easy to use, and it's actually informative to the article. So lucky for you, I actually went ahead and created a custom content improver template on my tool that you can use for completely free. So the way that this tool works is you want to find old content, you paste it in, and then you have some features in which you can implement to improve the content. And this is exactly what I do to refresh old articles. And I found that it's very, very effective at ranking because those articles are already on Google. And if they're already ranking 10 or 15, you can do some optimizations to get a little bit higher rather than going after and writing a completely new article. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find an old article. So I like to go back and try to find articles that you've written from beforehand or some of your first articles in which you've written that you didn't really take the time to optimize. So for example, an article like this, why do people get plastic surgery? This is a pretty common article. It's not very long. It's not very in-depth. There's not a lot of HTML elements. There's not a lot of images and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this article and I am going to now optimize it and improve this article. So just copy over the content, head over to the content improver tool on WordRocket, just head over to app.wordrocket.ai and you'll be able to use this for completely free. An existing content, we're gonna paste in the content. I will leave a link for the tool in the description below today's video as well. And then you can insert your sitemap, scan your sitemap, and it's gonna pull all of your URLs and then we can include those relevant internal links throughout the article. We can even choose our language. We'll keep it in English for now. Let's try to improve this up to 3,000 words. We're going to leave the tone of voice to professional. We can leave the writing style to neutral. We can leave the article type to informational. But again, you have a lot of different options which you can choose from. For the model, I think Claude 3.7 Sonnet is the best and it works the best for the outputs. I'm going to copy over our target keyword here because we're going to use this to help optimize the content. We're going to paste this into the target keyword section and we're going to leave everything else the same. For improvement, we're going to improve the readability. We're going to include internal links and let's go ahead and include an interactive HTML element. We can also toggle on low AI detection mode, which will make the content more humanized. But overall, I'm happy with our settings. So let's go ahead and click improve. So the content is being improved. It will take a couple of minutes for it to be completed. So as you can see, very, very easy to use. And you have the ability to take a dead article or an article that's doing okay and make it into a great article. So again, we're gonna try to hit 3000 words and I'll come back once it's finished. In the meantime, if you wanted to create a blog post cover image, you can use my other tool, which is Image Rocket. I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. So we can choose the social media image generator, choose landscape, Let's do realistic. We're going to use model one. And the text is, why do people get cosmetic surgery? So we can do, describe an image of a person in a plastic surgery clinic having a consultation. Right, so very simple. We can make it bold if you like, or we can leave it modern, clean, whatever you like. Let's go ahead and click generate image. Now this is going to take you about 15 seconds to generate a blog post cover image. And the quality is really, really good. Definitely comparable to uh, ChatGPT's new image model. And I like my tool a little bit better because it's more optimized for different types of content. As you can see, why do people get cosmetic surgery? The image looks great. It's very clean, right? It's just an image in which you can use for your blog post and it looks good. So you can then copy over this image and use that within your blog post. Okay, so the content is now finished. If for some reason you're generating content and it just kind of 
just resets and doesn't actually generate the content, just click generate again, because sometimes the AI just kind of like times out. We are working on those intermittent issues. But overall, as you can see, we're able to get back the content and it looks really, really good. So why do people get cosmetic surgery, the psychology and motivation behind aesthetic procedures? Have you ever wondered why someone would voluntarily go under the knife, da da da? And then we get understanding the types of plastic surgery. If we scroll down, we also get internal links, as you can see there, right? So internal links are embedded within the article where it makes sense. If we scroll down, I know the formatting doesn't look the best, but once you copy over your markdown content, it will look even better. If we scroll down, we can see that we get a cosmetic surgery motivation quiz. So we get a quiz here that's interactive that actually works right it works this is a previous it's not going to give you the actual final output but it looks really really good so we took an article that was sort of bland and definitely not was going to rank anywhere close to the number one position on google but now we have an article that's in-depth that's longer that has internal links and has a custom html element it's over 2500 words so it almost hit our word count but even with the html code it's probably close to 3000 words I've pasted in the written content and now I'm going to paste in the HTML content. So again, all you have to do is copy over HTML content. It depends on which um, website builder you are using. For this, we're using Webflow. So all we need to do is copy over and paste in the HTML code, right? So again, if I go back over to our tool here and we copy over the code, all we have to do is paste it into an HTML block and it will work. It's even easier to use on WordPress. Now we're going to click save and we are going to republish this article. So just for your uh, memory, this is what the old article looks like. Why do people get plastic surgery? Looks like a okay article, but again, definitely could be improved. So now that we have our new article, let's republish this and then we're going to refresh. So why do people get plastic surgery insights and reasons? So it's much longer, as you can see, much more in depth of an article feels like a more fuller article and we get it custom surgery motivation quiz that's embedded within the actual content itself. Let's go ahead and just go through this and see if it actually works, right? So your results, balanced perspective, likely a good candidate, blah, blah, blah. And it's actually going to give you a response based upon your inputs. And if we scroll down, um, we get the full content. And if we actually go ahead and look through this, we have internal links. So this is an internal link. If I go ahead and click on that, it goes to skin tag removal. It's just a little bit hard to see the actual um, the actual internal links on this specific website, but they are internal links scattered throughout this article naturally. So as you can see, in a couple of minutes, we we're able to go from a decent article to a really, really good article. I'm sure the SEO score is much higher on this article as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, today's video, and I hope that you can try out this feature for yourselves. Um, I've put a lot of time into building this tool, and I think it's really, really good. There are some bugs, so if you use it, and you run into an issue, just send me over an email. Usually it's actually pretty easy for you to, to fix those issues. It is a newer tool, so I expect there to be some bugs, but you can use it for completely free. And again, any recommendations that you have or things in which you would like to see, send me over an email. So go ahead and try out this template for yourselves. I will see you in the next video. Take care.